Are you tired of making blood slides over and over again till you find the perfect one? <coughs> Do you feel like doing this sometimes? Are you wasting boxes and boxes of slides? Then pay attention to this in-service that will teach you A S A P The first component in blood smear slide making is angle. We want to make sure our angle is not too steep and not too shallow. The blood smear shown here was done with a much too shallow angle. This slide was done with an angle that was really, really steep. The next factor is speed. Can you guess which one was done too slow and which one was done too fast? Yep, you guessed it. This is done way too slow. Right again, that means this one is done too fast. The other A in ASAP stands for amount of blood. This one had a teeny weensy amount of blood. That means this slide had too much blood. Notice how dark it is. Last but not least, the P stands for pressure. When someone pushes too hard, it can leave these ridges or track marks. And when you don't push hard enough, sometimes it doesn't get the blood all the way to the end. Now you have learned all the components that go into making a blood smear slide ASAP, angle, speed, amount of blood, and pressure.